Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. So thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to go over a couple of items from the Dior Color Games collection from the summer. I haven't seen these items here in the United States yet, but I purchased them online at Selfridges. And I purchased one of the eyeshadow palettes and two of the Dior Attic Stellar Shine lipsticks. So let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette first comes in the navy blue Dior box and this is number 287 this is the blue one so I was a little scared of it at first it took me a while to decide if I wanted to order it or not but the more I looked at it the more I became intrigued with it and decided I really wanted to try it out so the Dior palette does come in a velour pouch I actually don't currently have any Dior eyeshadows I had some a long time ago and um, just wasn't really in love with the formula and this is like probably like 10 years ago or something So it's been a while So I figured I'd try it again and see how I like it especially since they have those 12 new um, quints coming out in the fall Anyway, one of the things I wanted to know about this velour pouch is most of the time when you get a velour pouch with your cosmetics um, You know, it's just like two pieces of fabric sewn together. This one actually does have you know, it's thicker at the bottom for it to actually sit in there. So that's a nice little touch. And then we have the traditional Dior packaging. And there is a mirror on the top. You have two, well, you have a phone tip applicator on one end with a brush on the other. And the other one is phone tip al applicator and then a more narrow one. And here is the actual quint. So uh, it's the blues. It's actually these three colors here that really drew me into this. So um, let's go ahead and we'll swatch this and then we'll move on. So, all right, so here are the top three. And here are the bottom two. All right. I think all of the colors look very, very pretty. I have to say this light blue looks a little bit lighter than what I was thinking it would look like. And this one actually is a little bit lighter as well. So that's the shade. Um, but I am eager to see how these apply on the eyes. I've heard mixed things about the Dior Quints recently with some of them having good payoff and others kind of blending away to nothing. So curious about this particular palette. Now, before we move on and put everything on, let's take a look at the lipsticks. So this is the Dior Addict Stellar Shine, and I really like these formulas. This is shade number 452, Ibis Pink. And it is, here, I'm gonna put these ones on my hand here. So that is a warm pink. So it's kind of like a warm watermelon pink and there's a little bit of a shimmer in there, not sparkle, just like a shimmery sheen to it. Okay, and the other shade that I purchased is number 871 Peony Pink, which is gonna be a much brighter pink shade, more fuchsia type. And again, this also has a beautiful sheen to it. So, much cooler tone, much brighter. I'm not sure which one I'll wear today, but I will put them both on my lips so you guys can see them both. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this peach shade. I'm gonna apply this in the crease, and this is the Refer 15 brush. The color picks up very easily from the pan, and you can see that there is a little bit of powder kick up. I'm gonna take this all the way up the brow bone. Okay, I'm just gonna take a tiny dab of this and just kind of dab it in the inner corner here. Wiping off the brush, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go into this light blue. And I'm going to put this in the crease, but the lower portion, so more on the lid. Okay. 
and I'm going to bring this down to the inner corner. To be honest, I really like those two colors. Um, they have a nice sheen, and I think you could do an eye look just with those two for a really light summer look. Moving on, this is the Sonia G Soft Shader, and I'm going to go into this kind of pinky purple shade, and I'm going to apply this on the inner portion here of the lid. So I'm going to about here. Wiping off the brush, I'm going to go into the blue, the deep blue in the middle. And I'm going to do the outer portion and kind of overlap it. I want to get a purplish shade here, the transition. I'm going to add just a little bit more of that. Okay, now I'm just going to take my finger into the light blue shade and I'm going to try tapping this on right here in the center. I'm going to kind of just blend that out a little. Mm. Just going to take the soft shader again, just kind of tap that on a little bit and kind of blur it to the other colors a little. Okay, going back in with the Refer 15 and just blending. Okay, and for eyeliner, I am going to use this deep purple shade. This is the Sonia G Smudger 2 brush. I'm going to use this on the upper lash line. Wiping off this brush, I'm going to do the lower lash line with this dark blue in the center for the outer portion. Just, I guess, the outer half. Then I'm going to do just a dab of this kind of violet shade in the center here, right over the blue. Wiping that off and going into the light blue for the inner portion. And I'm going to overlap the violet shade a bit. That way it's just kind of peeking through a tad. Just wiping off the brush. I'm just going to run over this one time on each side, one time back and forth. All right, so I'm going to add some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the final eye look, and I I like the colors. Um, so, you know, it gives you kind of like a, a rainbow eye applied like this. And honestly, I think a lot of these colors, um, just using them in duos will be really nice. Like, I'm going to try using these. I like just using these or these. You know, actually, I really do like the colors in here. I have to say they are... Um, you know, not as strongly pigmented as I thought they would be. They are not lacking in pigment, um, but they're just more of a softer shadow, like formula wise. So they're very easy to blend and you can put on kind of like a light wash of color or build them up a bit. But, you know, they are meant to blend out, not blend away to nothing, um, but they do blend easily with each other so you can get kind of a gradient. And I, I like them. They all have a, a bit of a satin sheen to them. Um, you know, I think every shade here, you see, you can see a little bit of a satin shade. In the pan, it looks a little bit more matte for some of them. But once I put them on my eyes, I get that same sheen on all of them. So, you know, it's kind of like a, 
a mat satin. Okay, okay, so I am here with a five hour update and I just finished eating some chicken soup. So I did switch lip colors, but the peony pink that I had on earlier, um, you know, it lasted the whole time. So it got a little bit thinner, but not enough to the point where I felt like I had to reapply it. And then, you know, I took it off to eat dinner. Um, but now I am wearing the Ibis Pink and you can see it's a bit warmer. The eyeshadow has held up well. It's pretty humid today and I expect it to see a little creasing, but so far nothing. And it has been a five hours, no primer or anything on my eyes. And you can see they still just have that soft watercolor effect. I don't think it has really faded or anything. I still see all of the actual shades on here. The peach is still pretty predominant here on the brow and yeah, I can see the placement of all of the shades. So overall, it's holding up really well. So that's everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the lip products. So I showed you guys swatches before. I'm going to put them on my lips and then we'll figure out which one to wear today. So let's start with this one. This is number 452, Ibis Pink. All right, so this is number 452, Ibis Pink. And it's kind of like a medium depth, warm pink shade, what I call a watermelon pink. And I think it is a beautiful shade. Okay, and this is number 781, Peony Pink. And you can see that is a bright cool tone pink, um, a little bit of a fuchsia pink. Now, both of these shades both have this same kind of sheen to them, which is very similar to the same type of sheen that you have on the eyeshadow. So it looks a little bit shimmery, but it's not sparkly. I think they're beautiful. All right, so just about a note about both of these lipsticks. So if you are not familiar with the Addict Shine um, lip products, they, you know, they're a very nice lip product. I really like the Dior lip products. They actually stay on, you know, average time. Uh, nothing special. They're not like super long wearing or anything. This is kind of like a, a gloss lipstick hybrid. And so, you know, I'd say like four hours or so. But it is kind of a soft stick formula. So you can see, you know, can you see that on there? The metal. Now, when you slide it down, after I used it and it kind of got warmed up for my lips, I actually got some product here on the outside of the tube just from sliding it down, not from me over applying or anything. And same thing on this one here. So it is a soft product. I would not recommend leaving these outside on a hot day. Don't leave them in a car. Um, and honestly, when it's hot outside, I'm not. these are not ones I would carry around in my purse. I'd leave them in a place that's air conditioned. So um, formula wise, they are great. Color wise, um, I really like both of the shades. Now this one here, the Ibis Pink 452, this one's light enough that you can easily apply without a mirror and you don't really have to worry about, you know, where you place it. However, the Peony Pink is bright enough that you do kind of want to use a mirror to apply this um, to make sure your edges are decent. So overall thoughts on all of these products i am pleasantly <laughs> i'm pleasantly surprised by this i was very nervous about this eyeshadow palette again you know when i first saw it come out uh, or the preview pictures i was like no i'm not gonna get either of these color game palettes i'm not really interested in the colors and the more i looked at it the more i became attracted to this one here and I'm very happy that I got it and got it to play with. So, you know, the blendability of these shades and the soft focus look of these eyeshadows um, reminds me a little bit of the Surat shadows. So, you know, they're, they're both brands that will give you like a subtle wash, but you also can get some pigmented color from them as well. But the blendability and softness of them, you know, makes them really easy to use. So again, as I mentioned before, I think all of these colors are very wearable and you can pair them up or, or whatever. So, you know, you can get a wide variety of looks from this palette. So very happy with this. I will definitely be playing with this some more. Um, these are not my first <laughs> Dior Attic um, Stellar Shine lip products. I do really like these. I really like the formula. 
I've been buying the, these or versions of these for many, many years. And, you know, I'm just always happy with their color selection and the actual product. So, um, overall, great purchases, I think. So, I'm very happy with them so far. If anything changes, I will be sure to let you guys know. But I do recommend these. And if I, whenever I see them up in the U.S., I will definitely post something on my Instagram about that. So that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and hitting that notification bell. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.